touchdowns. And then we had 500 total yards. They had 394 total yards. Almost gave up 100 rushing yards, man. Well, that that's an improvement from last season. Last season, we were giving up three, four hundred yards passing. So the first game, that ain't bad. We got interceptions. We got two interceptions. And a fumble. Dang, we did all right. I just, I just got to stay, stay tight on them. Get a little tighter. Yeah, he won the star players for the Chiefs. No, they just showing a, a highlight for the next game. I gotta upgrade my players and my coach and all that stuff. We stand undefeated. That's the main thing. I'm showing the world that the Cleveland Browns can stay undefeated if they want to. I mean, I'm using different players, though, but still, no excuses. We supposed to be 5-0 and right now anyway in real life. Supposed to be undefeated. So, I'm about to advance the week. I don't care about proving the team and all that crap because I like the people that I got now. Felipe Franks is awesome on defense. Coaches down there, Arkansas, y'all did a good job with that guy. He is awesome. Like I said, he's six foot eight pounds, man. He's, he's uh, in the secondary, and I can use him as a line. Defensive rookie of the year. Oh, we play the Bengals now. That's why I want to go into the second game. It's going to be interesting. They undefeated, too. I knew they were going to be good. Let me kick this off. I'm excited. Skip. Full game. Well, I kind of did that game under 60 minutes. I'm going to try to speed this up a little bit. Like I said, I'm going with the default roster. Gang is the Bengals. He have a touchdown, but he had 109 yards, though. That ain't bad. I got to get a touchdown with uh, Chubb this game. Tonight, from First Energy Stadium. Now let's go in. Bengals. It's a tradition of the NFL. And we're on prime time. Yeah, we're going to eat. Yeah. Let's see what Burrow can do now. Come on, let's go. Let's kick this off. Stones the rock and roll for football they get the at ball first first first. Stadium in Cleveland, Ohio. Tonight we're on to week it's two in the, the NFL season it's as it's we've got a good one here between the Cincinnati Bengals uh -uh. Come here. and the Cleveland Browns. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape Cincinnati. past the 30. The Bengals it's offense here game. ready to rock and roll. Joe we'll Burrow is the man at quarterback. And I like what his head coach told us about it this week, that no matter what happens, whether he throws seven interceptions or seven touchdown passes, he's the same assertive leader in the huddle on each and every play. He can throw the seven interceptions, just blame the football, blame anything else, and still carry himself like he is the man. It's like you, assertive in our production meetings. Well, especially when we're talking, we're talking about ordering dinner. Or ordering I was just going to say. That's, that's where I go. Run. Nope. And he'll stretch nope. out only about a yard nope. up to the 32. Bengal ball carrier. 
The numbers for Mixon last week, 16 carries, 73 yards. Now he's playing the Thursday night game short week. You know, he spent a lot of time in the trainer's room in the cold tub trying to get his legs back what? for this game. Oh, Here's man. second and nine, just a yard on that last run. That's how I like Cincinnati. Out of the gun, it's Burrow. This one into the hands of Burton. Now. That catch good for only a yard, and it'll be third down. I think it's okay that they didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily, put it on him when your other targets aren't open. A tough spot here on their opening drive. This is third and seven. Everything in front of me, no. looking to pass. Yo, sack. This will be a sack. Jordan Elliott yep. coming in to drop him for a Zach. loss of eight. And it also brings up fourth. Well, how about That's that? A dime oh, set on defense. Six defensive backs. None of them yeah. blitz. They're just back there in coverage. Defensive lineman gets the sack. That's where the O-line, they go to the sideline. They keep their, their helmets Jordan on so the cameras Elliott. can't find them, right? Yeah, the cameras can't find them. But I know one thing. The O-line coach will. There we go. Shut the Bengals down. bring out their punter now. He'll kick it away after a three and out on the opening Stop drive of the game. Early. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all what of it. What is he doing? Get the ball. Oh, he's going to go ahead and field it from the three-yard line. Oh, he's going to block him. They'll call Justin. that a 61-yard punt. He got all of that one. And the Browns will take over with a first and ten deep in their own territory. So here comes the Browns offense with a long field ahead. They're led out of the field by their big mobile quarterback. He can throw it, he can run it, Colin Kaepernick. Well, he started his season the way that everyone wants to start their season Lord, with an absolute it. bang. Yeah, AFC Offensive of Player of the Week. Like Let's see where he goes from here. Set the bar high. Week two, we'll see what he can do. A first ooh, carry ooh, now for ooh, Nick ooh, Chubb. Ooh, ooh. And he'll be brought to oh, That's a face mask. Certainly looked like it indeed. Here come the flags. Face mask. Defense. The face mask is the defense. We'll take so that. that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it is we'll going to be 15 yards. Now it's first and 10. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Flushed out right. He'll Watch run the it. Ooh, Look at this. Oh, no. Balance. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Yeah. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard game. Partner as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head. It's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. There we go. Tuck, tuck it all you can. That's the to do. One play back. has him to the 37 here for first and 10. Okay, we gotta get this here, Obviously, we got the best money attack. Handoff comes to Chubb. Ooh. Ooh. And a five yard gain gets him to the 42. A check on it from a week ago. 12 the hundreds. And now that he's playing a Thursday night game short week, you know, I'm in the trainer's room in the cold tub trying to get his legs back for this game. The first down run got five. Here's. I see you, Odell. Now on the field. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 11 yards there, first down. Well, from their point of view, this game could not be starting out much better, could it? Force a punt on defense, and now they're moving it crisply on offense. Crisply, I like that. Like yeah, that? yeah, moving it very, very well. Looks like the defense on their heels a little bit. You put a score in here, long way to go, but you're right. That's a heck of a score. Yeah, and I think this is where the play caller is looking at his play sheet and saying, to have that dagger play, to have that play, and just finish him off right now, because I think they'd love to get that big advantage around here. He was solid last week, over 100 yards in their victory on the ground. They want to get that going again. Absolutely. What they also understand is that from Week to week, it's not necessarily the same, but they want it to be. Oh, right? oh. They saw last week on the ground, they want to see in this game as well. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Chewing up big yardage, another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. 
But I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. A give. This is oh, down to the six touchdown. yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. Touchdown. Carl Lawson. That's a really nice job right, by them picking up the away. run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, Cooper. you're going to smother it. Yep. But, uh, and he's in there. Yeah, touchdown. Touchdown, Cleveland. Austin Hooper. Yeah, his oh, second man. touchdown on the season. And the Browns have taken the early lead. They scored the most points of anyone on opening weekend, and now first quarter touchdown here. And while there's no guarantee that all the points they score in the opening yeah. weekend are going to hold up and be the average all year long, they're certainly starting to set that type of a pace. And what you do with that is you put in the heads of all of your opponents. We've got to really be ready on defense because these guys know how to yeah, put the ball ready on You think they can keep piling on the points like this? I think they can if they're prepared to adjust and adapt because they won't see the same defense as we can. Drive. That's the longest drive of the season so far. Joe looking a little frustrated. Already. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Taken at the 15 short slow. kick. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. First and 10 at their own 31-yard line. Cincinnati coming back onto the field here for their second drive. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move oh, the ball at least stop. a few times on offense, get a couple of first right. downs, and stop. hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Burrow and the Bengals with a first and 10 at the 31-yard line. He'll throw from the gun. Ooh, and the catch wow, made is Tyler Boyd. Boy. And he'll get it up just short of the Why 45 at the 44. Boy. A quick first down open. pickup. Good start after going three and out on their opening drive. Watch the hoodie, too. Uh, Cover the linebacker. From the shotgun, back. Oh, Joe Burrow. Open man here, Sims complete. Not much there, only a yard. One thing you're looking for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride and you can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Damn! Burrow's throw going to be caught by Boyd. And he's going to be Wide brought down on what will be the oh. final play of this first quarter. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Bengals nothing. So Wide first open. and ten yeah. upcoming oh, from Brown's territory now at the 41. Got to stop. But toss Hand left, off. Mixon. Hit him. There we go. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. They did a really nice job there defensively. They strung the play out, didn't give him a cutback lane. On each play, you have guys what I call our BCR players. Guys are responsible for the boot lane, for the cutback, and for the reverse. They played that one perfectly. And rode him right out of bounds. Call it a gain of five that time, and they'll be left with a third and about four. Oh, stop playing four yards, man. Third down. Now it's Burrow. Yeah. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong. And now it's fourth down. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him. And they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incomplete. That was good. Brown, seven. Bengals, nothing. Oh, short. Oh, he missed the field goal. <laughs> I don't say it like the same old thing to me. So here are the Browns the to take goal. over. They were winners a week ago <laughs> over the Bucks. They lead here as well as they come up on first down. Oh, he missed the field goal. 
NFL kickers nowadays, they make kick things look so yeah. easy because normally from this range, about two out of three. And this is not an easy kick. Well, 20 years yeah, ago, you get where he was in that 50 range, maybe a little over. And it's a big kick, but now we just, if they leave it short, Cowboys like, kicking off way left off last. He's oh, knocked up Yeah, you're right. 20 years ago, knocked we were saying run some more plays and get closer. Now we think they're definitely within range. Yeah, we'll exactly seven right. Point. When it comes up seven. short, there has to be something that went wrong because they have plenty right. of legs. We gotta turn this up. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and ten. It's up time. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll take this for about four up to the 46-yard line. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, Good so they call. were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. On third down, it's Nick Chubb. Third down. And able got to pick it. up the, the first, first across midfield to the 47. Cleveland call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. Two minutes gone by, second quarter. Kaepernick now on first down. Under oh, pressure, and he will go down. Sacks back at the 46. Logan Wilson leading the surge there as he drops him for a loss of six. And they brought the pressure there just right up the gut, didn't they? Yeah, they certainly did. Responsibilities as an offensive line. You got to deal with a nose tackle. The two defensive tackles are ends. And then just can't account for everyone. The linebacker slipped free. Work to be done. Second and 16. Sack. Great. Yep. Now a throw here is complete. And he gets this to the yep. other side yep. of midfield across the 45 yep. before going out. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back. But now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. <laughs> to throw, Nightcap, it's man. Kaepernick. Oh, Escaping the pressure. Yeah, escape right. this time. He may try and run yeah, for this. Yeah, And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down there we inside go. the 20. Turns out to be a great right idea to tuck that one. Good for 24 yards. On third down, he obviously wants to throw the football, but there's nowhere to go with it, so he takes off and goes. Again, he blows right past it and picks up big yardage. Partner, that's a great bit of improv. On first down, they'll run. And he's going to get sure, a solid gain of nine on down. Second right at a yard. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Brings up second and a yard. And to give this time to the tailback. And here down to the seven. Show. That's good for another Cleveland Browns. Two minutes, second quarter. Seven nothing ball game. Coming up at the half, a reminder, we go back to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman. He'll have a look back at our first half as well as a look ahead to what's coming up later this weekend. And he has met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. And goal line at the seven-yard line. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. It's almost half time. seven to nothing. That could be slowing the ball down. I'm not going to turn it over. And he'll give it here to his running back. Had a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Going right to the tight end. Here's Kaepernick oh, to throw. Yep. And he's got his tight end. It's Hooper for the Browns touchdown. Austin Hooper. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Browns are going to tack on to their advantage. No surprise there. Third and goal down here. That's where they're going to look for their tight end. Yeah, you want that big guy running his the routes. Doesn't tough. matter it's who they cover him with. If it's another big guy, he might use his bulk against him. If it's a shorter defender, he might go over the top. Either way, you tend to find a little bit of a mismatch in that area. No going for two. They'll kick the point after. And it's good to make it 14-0. So that one a long 11-play drive. 
And it's capped off by the Browns. Touchdown. The home of copyrights. the kickoff unit as they run up Boom. and send this one away. All right. Keep that on and this will not be returnable. It's out of the it's back of the end zone so for a touchback. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. They're in a first half that really has not been kind to them. A late opportunity here to maybe make some inroads on this deficit Thanks. before half. And this drive is going to go a long way towards telling us whether they actually have a chance to come all the way back in this game or not. All right, come on, we got, we got to shut them down, shut them down. Right, know it's a deep pass. On oh, first and ten, Joe Burrow. Yeah, he's, he's got Burton here. Right, and he gets this up just shy like of the 30 to the right 29 there. before he's out of bounds. They'll contain him to just four. Yeah, really allowed down. Down. Most most down. Them would be good all teammates right, right here. What I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two shut first down. downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. On second good down. Pass. Burrow. Good pass. And a good quick pass. throw here. Okay. That's complete. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Trying to get a field goal All right. Uh, we got to go back to the dollar. We're definitely trying to get a field goal. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. Know where to go. Back, Joe Mixon. A good yeah, rally to the yeah. football keeps him to only a yard, and it's second down. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minute. Hey, he is. Open man is Higgins. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as uh, the clock stops the here with 46 right seconds here. remaining oh. in the first half. You know it's a short pass, man. Come on, we we'll run. On third and one. Shit! Oh. Yeah! And the heavy traffic yeah, and it's intercepted. Picked off by oh. Kiko Alonzo. Oh. Yeah, and he will take it across midfield yeah. and down to the 45. Yeah. 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 Down. You're trailing, yeah, you're trying to get though. points late in half. I absolutely yeah, understand that. But remember, it's all about the ball. And without the ball, you can't get those yeah. points. They just turned it over. Now you got to be careful because that deficit can get a little bigger on the other side with that good field position they just took over with. You have the right coverage on his ass, man. Right coverage. We going for another score. So after the INT, oh, really? it's Kaepernick. They'll let it go deep for oh, Beckham. And that is caught on the right sideline. Caught it. Down, says the line judge. The throw oh, took him a little man. too far. It's man. second down. That was nice work there defensively right. to force incompletion. Now, even though this drive started in plus territory, they're still not in field goal range yet. So they can work towards another couple of stops and not allowing that turnover to hurt. Damn. And that one will fall this is, this is incomplete. Kaepernick on the keeper. Clock here now, just under 30 Kaepernick seconds to go in this first half. Brings up a third oh, down. Come on, come on, come on. Just go for 10 yards. Just go. Yup. Yup. And more. Run for it, and he will. <laughs> and he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts. As the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. But it can't go. Field goal run as long as I'm screwed up. On first and ten, here's Kaepernick. I see where he's targeted right there. The he caught it. Look that one in. He caught it. What a catch for the touchdown. Good start to the season for him. He had the touchdown last week in the opener and a second one in week two now. How about the pace he's already established, right? Not sure he can keep it up for an entire season. 
but don't burst the bubble because he thinks that he can. Do guys go into a season with a goal for touchdown scored or yardage? What do you think? I think every single one of the guys who's going to touch the football, <laughs> they all have those types of goals. They all have wow. those types of thoughts. And then they just have to see how the season unfolds if they can stay with it. Unfolding so far so good for him. Oh, here we go. Oh, man, it's a touchdown. Yeah, I possess the whole time. Caught it one hand, yeah, possess the whole time. He dropped it. It's a touchdown, man. It's a touchdown. Got a little controversy, buddy, for the first half. It's a touchdown. The kicker on a for the point. They had to go to the monitor, get an extra look. That's what the yep. technology is for. And this touchdown will count. And it is now 21 to nothing. Just a four-play drive that time. And it ends with a touchdown for Cleveland. I say we, we got Pro Bowl defenders, man, but obviously we make it to the Super Bowl again. We ain't going to have nobody in the Pro Bowl representing us. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Bengals drive about to get going and some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. This one might be oh, a good one. The end, what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. You get the ball back, I'm too. not saying you have ultimate patience here, but you also don't have to be going there. And the Sack. Browns pressure gets to him that time, and he's going to go down. They look confused. Same old beat. Oh, but it's in the hell. Now you spike the ball. You spike the ball. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided yeah, game so far. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, we'll get back Pure to you guys domination. in a moment. But first, the NFL season is in full swing. Let's show All the good right, folks cool. what we've got in store for us later this weekend. Here in week two, in the early window Shut on down. Sunday, one of the best of the best happens up in Pittsburgh. A big one for the Steelers as they'll score off against the visiting Houston Texans. In the late afternoon games, all eyes will be on Las Vegas. A glitzy matchup there where it'll be the Raiders taking on the Baltimore Ravens. And then finally, a good one on Sunday night football between the L.A. Rams and the New York Giants. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back and forth first half. Who Every can put it together in the second Every half? Single week for the is. answer, we turn it back over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles. Yeah, this is the team I didn't have. I'm keeping on the offense. Thank you, everyone. Back.